Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. My name is Danny Phillips. I am a nutrition coach for The Training Ground. And today we are going to review some fiber filled beverages. If you're not sure that you're taking in enough fiber every day. And most of the time, if I'm working with someone who wants to focus on their nutrition and health goals, they're not taking in enough fiber. It is rare. Then this might be an option that you want to consider. So on average per 1000 calories that you take in every day, you should be getting in about 14 grams of fiber. So for someone who's taking in a normal you say like 2000 calorie a day diet, you should probably be getting in somewhere between 25 and 30 grams of fiber per day. That can be difficult to do, especially if it's just not on your radar or you're out of town and you're indulging in some vacation treats or more than usual. It's hard to catch up on fiber, kind of like it is with protein. So I'm going to review these three beverages and let y'all know what my thoughts are and whether or not I would recommend them. So I bought all three of these from Whole Foods. The first one we're going to review is Olipop in the cherry vanilla flavor. So this can is a 12 ounce can, 45 calories, zero fat, 16 carbs, nine grams of fiber and zero protein. So I don't want you to freak out about the carbs because we're talking mostly fiber here. Yes, there are five grams of sugar. But um, I really do, the ingredient list is really interesting. Carbonated water, Smart, cassava root fiber, chicory root inulin, Jerusalem artichoke inulin, nopal cactus, marshmallow root, calendula flower, kudzu root, tart cherry juice concentrate, cassava root syrup, apple juice concentrate, lime juice, stevia leaf, Himalayan pink salt, natural white cherry flavor, and natural vanilla flavor extract. Here we go. Oh, and if you're listening and you want to watch, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash at, like the little at symbol, the training ground NWLA. I will put that link in the description. All right, here we go. The Olipop cherry vanilla flavor. Oh, that's lovely. That's sweeter than I expected it to be. But it's good. I don't I don't do a ton of carbonated beverages, but that and like a soda. I, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a soda, but that's lovely. Again, sweeter than expected. A light flavor. Kind of sits on the back of the tongue with that tartness. I really like that. I will totally enjoy finishing that off. Okay. I approve and I'm going to get nine grams of fiber from that. Now, that being said, I'm not going to be able to have all three of these drinks in the same day. I'm probably going to feel awful. So keep that in mind as well. If you are trying to increase your fiber and you're doing so with all uh, fiber added in uh, beverages or snacks, you're probably not going to feel great. Your gut has to get used to taking in fiber. So be aware that you need to add it in slowly but surely if you are trying to increase it. Okay, moving on to Holy Tapache. If I am butchering the name of that, please correct me. So this is a sparkling tonic as well. Peach mango is the flavor, probiotic and prebiotic plant fiber. This one is 60 calories, still a 12 ounce can, different shape. Zero fat, 17 carbs, six fiber, 12 grams of sugar, including eight grams of added sugar and one gram of protein. It says keep refrigerated, do not shake. And then it does seem like it has less ingredients. So water, organic bacteria and yeast culture, organic prebiotic fiber, organic pineapple juice concentrate, organic mango juice concentrate, organic peach juice concentrate, organic lemon juice concentrate, and organic natural flavor. So definitely a different ingredient profile compared to the Olipop. Let's give it a try. 